What is catch error in Jenkins? When running a Jenkins job, I want a stage to be able to fail, but I don't want the whole job to fail. How can I do that? The easiest way to do that is by using catch error. Catch error will go ahead and mark the job as failed, but the rest of the pipeline will continue to execute. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.332.3. Attached to this controller, I have an agent. Down in the description of this video is a link to a gist that has all of our example Jenkins files that we're going to be looking at. You'll notice that I already have a job set up called catch error. Let's take a look at it and click on configure. This first job is a happy path job. We're going to just do an exit zero, which is successful, and then we're going to move down into the second stage where we're just doing echo stage two. So let's click on save and click on build now, and let's take a look at the output of this first build. What we'll see is that the overall is set to success, and we see output, exit zero, that was fine. And since this was fine, we were able to move on to our second stage, which echoed out stage two. Now let's go ahead and break this job. We'll click on configure, and instead of doing an exit zero, let's do an exit one. We'll click on save and click on build now. And since we're setting an explicit exit one, the job is marked as failed, but notice that we skip stage two because the first stage was a failure, which is a normal scenario. But what I want is whether or not that first stage is successful or if it fails, I want to go ahead and make sure stage two always runs. This is where we introduce catch error. So let's take a look at the documentation for catch error. And what this says is if the body throws an exception, we're going to mark the build as a failure, but nonetheless continue to execute the pipeline from the statement following the catch error step. So let's go back over to our pipeline. Let's modify it to include catch error. So we'll go to configure. And what we're going to do is we are going to wrap our sh with a catch error. And let's back that up just to make it a little nicer. And we'll do that. So all we're doing is we're going to wrap exit one with catch error. And let's see what happens. We'll click on save and click on build now. And what we'll see from the output, even though the build is marked as failed, we can see that we had an error on exit one, but because it's wrapped with a catch error, we were still able to get the output for stage two. So in this case, even though the overall job is failed, each of our stages were successful. Now, another thing that we can do with catch error, if we take a look at the values that we can pass into it, we can pass in build results, catch interruptions, messages, and setting a stage result. First off, let's just set a message because when we take a look at the output, we probably want some more information here about why, even though it looks like it failed, it was still successful, even though the overall was a fail. A little confusing. So let's clarify what's going on here with this catch error. So we'll go here, click on configure, and for catch error, we'll just pass in a message that says, even if this fails, we continue on. Okay, let's click on save, click on build now, and what we'll see from the output from build run four is that we see the message that we just created. So you can give it more context so when people take a look at the log, they can understand, okay, it says it failed, it says that there's an error, but I can say, yeah, I know that there was an error, I'm okay with that, let's move on. But what if we didn't want the job to be marked as a failure? What if instead we wanted to set it to a different build result? Well, let's go back into our job and let's modify our catch error to set a couple of different statuses. In this case, we're going to set the build result to unstable, and we're going to set the stage result to unstable. So let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. And what we're going to see in build run five is that we are now in an unstable state. And if we click into it, we still see our same message, but our overall status is set to unstable. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, Click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.